Here we are with my tractor. It's a Mahindra 2638. Absolutely love the machine. Been an excellent machine. And today, we're going to put cruise control on a tractor. A lot of people wonder why you would put cruise control on a tractor. It's a tractor. You're not going very far. You're not going very long, etc., etc. Well, I don't do any farming. This is a utility machine. I use it with the pallet forks all the time, moving things around. The uh, hydrostatic, the HST transmission, uh, got a forward and a reverse pedal, allows me to position this thing unbelievably accurately exactly where I need to go. So that's a little harder to do with a clutch, especially sometimes when you're up in the operator's position looking down over the front trying to see where your forks may be landing in regards to the thing you're trying to pick up. So that HST, I can put it in low gear, just idle it, and just creep up millimeter by millimeter into what I need to have. Absolutely love that. The drawback comes, however, when you're doing long, repetitive work, like running this box blade up and down our mile-long gravel road to regrade it uh, you know, a few times a month, really. So with that, put it in gear, get going. You got to run a low gear, hauling a big load, lots of gravel. So you're going three miles an hour up and down the road, holding that pedal to the floor the whole time. Your leg gets tired. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace, well, I'm going to replace, we're going to add on cruise control to this tractor. What's really cool is all the wiring harnesses and pieces are here for the cruise control. It is ridiculously simple to do. Um, there's a bunch of videos out there about the adding it. And, but none of them ever really seem to address the why you would add cruise control. Most people consider that it's going to be going to and from fields or long stretches of maybe road between locations. So again, you don't have to hold that pedal down the whole way. But for me, it's actually when I'm doing operational work at slow speeds, you know, I might hold that pedal to the floor for 15 minutes. Your leg gets pretty tired doing that. So what I've got here is the, the cruise control kit from Mahindra. So it comes with a packing slip and my invoice. That's it. There's no instructions. Uh, but honestly, you really don't need them. We get a new plastic surround for here with the cutout for the cruise control. Okay. We get a switch, two bolts for the cruise control, and the cruise controller itself. And this is ridiculously simple. We'll see how it goes on the other side, but basically it just bolts in. The holes are there. They give you the bolts, and it's just an electromagnet. That's it. So when you activate it, it holds that pedal in whatever position you put it in. So when we get to the other side, you'll see how simple that is to replace. But right now, we're going to show you this piece. And this is actually very simple to get out. On the back side, there are just tabs on this side and this side. And all you've got to do is reach underneath and pop it out. So let me see if I can get a view here where I'm not in the way and you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I won't get in the way. I'm just going to reach up underneath and get my arm up. And I can feel one side and push that tab. And you'll see it popping out. I'm trying to do this without getting in your view here. Put a tab on that side and a tab on that side. And that's it. And you can see the two tabs right here. That just pops out. We're going to disconnect this, uh, really only because we're going to be changing this piece. We have to take this off. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect this and put it aside for a minute. You know, simply disconnect, right? Oops, hit my four ways, sorry. There we go. Get that disconnected, set it aside. And now we're just going to peel this off. And you can see the dash is pre-cut with holes for other features. There's other things that come with the tractor that you're available to, that are able to, to be ordered with it. I didn't order any of those. And honestly, I probably would have ordered the cruise control had I known about it at that point in time. Well, let me rephrase that. I knew it had cruise control. I didn't know that I would want it so badly. <laughs> so uh, I did do that after the fact. All right. So now we've got to get our wiring harness for the cruise control, which is right next to the wiring harness that we just disconnected. So you can see the one we just disconnected here. And the cruise control harness is right down in there as well. We've got them both. So all I'm going to do is feed my wire through, plug it into the wiring harness. Whoops, I probably should put my sticker on. Just about made myself a hair extra work here. Way. Okay. 
Ding, ding, ding. Okay, here we go. Got our little sticker. See, it's marked Cruise. Okay. All right, now, can we get the backing peeled off? Hey, not too bad. Got a corner started without making a huge mess of things. I'm proud of me. Okay, we come through and just line up our decal. Get it closely approximated. I'm paying more attention to get it over the holes than I am as close to the outline. I want to be sure that my connectors go in nice and easily. Okay, there's one. Back up. Okay, here's our other. So we'll take our cruise control button, drop the connector through the hole, and plug in. Make sure we're seated. Good. There we go. And orient my tabs in the same direction. There we go. Snap that in. Grab our original light control. Whoops, my, my cable end keeps falling back in the hole. There we go. Plug those together and just pop all this back in. Okay, all of our quote unquote wiring for the top side is now done. That's it. So we're going to go over and install the piece on the other side. So let me relocate the camera and come right back here. Okay, so we've got a wiring harness. So right there's the two little holes that we're going to bolt the cruise control module to. The harness runs the lengthwise here. And if I look up inside, I can just make out my connector. So I'm going to go down there and wiggle it so maybe you can see it. Whoop, my magnet grab there. Okay, there's that little connector right there. Okay. So let's pull that down and we got to go ahead and take the plug off of the end. Let's see if we can get it here. There we go. You can see the connector right in here. Okay, and we've got a little plug we got to take off the end. Let's get that off there. This is a little bit harder to, to access in here. Uh, harder to see actually. It's not hard to access. I got lots of room for my hands. I just don't have a lot of room to see what I'm doing. So it's kind of, there we go. Take a look, move things around. Take a look, move things around. There's our connector. And we will grab our cruise control module here. And plug it in. Orienting it correctly. We hope, because we can't see. There it goes. Okay, got a nice firm click. We could hear that. Okay. I'm going to take our module and stick it right there. Oops, left my bolts on the other side, of course. Go grab those. Probably going to need to use a wrench. With the uh, hydraulic manifold here, I can't quite get a ratchet in. So I'll have to go get a standard box wrench in a minute here. But I'll get these started. There we go. And I'm going to run this in just before snug, where I can still swing it around a little bit to put the other bolt in. And then we'll tighten it up. If you notice, I'm doing this top one first. That way my wrench has as much room to swing as possible, because once this one's in, I wouldn't be able to get a swing of that same distance. And 
and that one needs a little more too. There we go. Looks like we got to do it the slow way. Can't use the ratchet. Just a little bit of the body in here is in the way. And I'm sure once I get it down a few threads, I'll be able to switch to the ratchet. But this still isn't bad at all. Let's see, we've got enough yet. There we go. Yep. Okay, a couple more turns. We'll snug up that top one now. We left that a little loose, if you recall. Okay, just about there, and then we're gonna go for a ride. Now, if you notice, this is loose. That's on purpose. That way it can attach to the pedal and then release when you're driving. That's not a loose bolt that we need to tighten. There is adjustability in that if need be. If you are too far away, too close, you can adjust this a little bit, but you, don't, you probably shouldn't need to. We'll find out in uh, testing here though. All right, I'm gonna reposition this. We'll back out and go for a ride. Okay, so I had to dub this. The tractor was too loud to hear any of the audio. But basically, I've mounted the camera so you can see what we've got going on. You can see the cruise control button installed. And uh, we're just going to back up here. Let's see here. And swing around the vehicles, trailers, other stuff that's in the driveway. All right. That was really easy to install, by the way. It was only 15 minutes of actual work. Very, very simple to do. And it probably would have taken 10 if I wasn't recording a video. It was honestly that easy. Okay, here we go. We're going to go into our forward gear. We put us in a medium speed that way we can get a little bit more speed up so you can see what's going on all right and get us straightened out here goes the cruise control and green light comes on green on the dash and you can see both feet are off of the hst pedals and we're moving works great so just like in a vehicle if i hit the brakes the cruise control disengages so that works great emergency stops won't be a problem so here we're going to re-engage the cruise control now, because the pedal actually is against a magnet, it, it's um, sliding almost, it, well, holding it from sliding, honestly, I still can press the pedal down to accelerate a little bit if I'm not all the way to the floor. And if I press the reserve, reverse pedal, I can actually um, you know, slow it down a little bit. So if you were considering adding cruise, I highly recommend it. Very, very simple to do and very, very convenient and comfortable while operating the tractor.